But I, I remember, I remember when it was your birthday. Like, I want to say it was your birthday before you got on Drag Race, mm-hmm. and you were doing your show at Barracuda. And like people, like after the show, people it was like a a meet and greet like line like all the way like to the pool table. So like a good like that's like a good like what like twenty feet of people lined up to give you presents yeah. for your birthday. It was the craziest thing. I was like, this bitch is not she's not, she not even on RuPaul's Drag Race. She's not even a, like who cares? Bitch, I was the queen of New York City at the time. This thing, yeah. <laughs> I know you were not walking and talking. That was I was the queen. Monet, you can acknowledge that before I went on Drag Race, I was the queen of New York City. You better acknowledge it right now. <laughs> tell the truth, Monet. Tell the truth, Shanda. I'll admit this: you were the queen, one of the queens of New York City before you went on Drag Race. I am the queen of New York City currently, Monet. Even though I'm in Berkeley, California right now, I am still the current <laughs> queen of New York City. Sasha can have Brooklyn. <laughs> I have Manhattan. This thing. No, you were people. You were you. You were very much adored in New York. As Peppermint was, you know, doing her own thing, Bob became like the queen of New York. Like Bob was working everywhere. If you if you like drag in New York City, if you wanted to go see a show in New York City, you find out what night where Bob was working that night. You went to go see him. Like that I was, was like, great. I was also aggressive about getting booked. I was like, y'all booking me. Yeah. Um, I <laughs> think they need to go back to the season eight format of doing it like giving you guys like like prepare your number whatever you want to do like you know like to me like that year no shade to Kim and Naomi but that year really showed like like who are like the like we we knew us in New York especially knew that you like you were like a go hard dire performer and it showed in what you prepared and what you had ready for your lip sync number you know what I mean Bob I'm not ashamed to say that you I I admit all the time like you first of all you are for I I I you are a drag queen I revere the most I talk about you all the time right. I speak of your glories and your and your your triumphs no. all the time. I'm not. This is not a competition. I, I I can admit that I love you and I think that you're an amazing drag queen. I say that all the time. Okay, I don't know who this is, but can the real Monet stand up? This is a maturity I've never seen. No, <laughs> me and Monet and I, we are each other's. Like I, Monet is one of my favorite drag queens in the on this stage. Okay, I didn't you say that. are. <laughs> no, you wow, are, Eureka, you heard that? No, you do you scroll know, back. Do you know what video I found the other day, Bob? On my what? phone, when I came to visit you in Berkeley, which you keep on telling people I didn't come to your show, I fully came to Berkeley to see you. And I said you didn't come to my show. I didn't say you didn't come to Berkeley. I fully then. How did I meet Kennedy and all those people backstage? I can't. That was at your show. When you went to the theater, you did not come to the show. I same thing. Anyway, <laughs> and I found this same. video. When I showed up at your door, and it was, at that point, I was honestly, I hadn't seen you for over six months, and I was overcome with emotion, and you and I, I saw you, and I was like, Miss Seely, and then we did the little hand, hand clap. Me, uh, my sister, <laughs> never for <laughs> my key, da, da. I'll post you that just, on Patreon, we'll, too. Yeah, send that over. We'll post that. Miss <laughs> Seely. <laughs> <laughs> that was the video um oh my god from the first day we started sipping rivalry 2018 um i hadn't bob had moved to berkeley to do angels in america and i hadn't seen him since that was the first time seeing him that was june and i had the last time seeing him was january so cute that, that girl i i also i got really emotional today and i called monet because of the podcast <laughs> Oh my god, you're so ridiculous. <laughs> That's why Monet's being nice today. Monet's only being nice today because she thinks I'm <laughs> gonna cry. Bob, oh my god. No. Well, <laughs> like, like I've said 19 times on the podcast, Bob does not get emotional. Well, Bob gets emotional. Bob doesn't get emotional to the point where he's moved to tears often. Only when he's really tired, <laughs> which I've seen that one, what, three times now? Um, or when he is really stressed out so it was very rare to see the elusive bob the drag queen in an emotional <laughs> oh crying state you I miss diversity. you very much i want to say that by the way I, I miss you very much let's just start with me saying that i'm going to be very nice say that i miss you very very much i miss you, you know very that? much too bob it's been a long i the last time i saw you was october september the last time i saw you was september bitch oh my god oh my god but also because we we, we talked to other Four or five, six times a week, um, it, it feels like a little bit less time. But once I see you again, it's gonna be uh, popping shit, pulling up and dropping shit. You know what I mean? Oh my god, you're obsessed. I can't. You, you literally can't. Stop and I'm gonna argue with it. I'm gonna argue with you because this nigga is a toxic bitch. 
my god i just want i want like a little like see this little butt this little groove here like right i want this to come in a little bit money i'm just gonna say one more time do what you want to do with your body and i support you i think that your face looks really beautiful the way it is right now i think that you look really handsome out of drag really beautiful in drag and i think that your nose is a big contributing factor to all those things however if you would like to get something done to your nose to make you feel more comfortable in your skin i will support you i will be there i will travel and i will hang out with you while you heal yes. that's what you're talking about so they called me they were like bob who is Monet's best friend. And I was like, if y'all, I mean, if you want Monet's best friend, you have to bring me in. Like, I'm Monet's best friend. They were like, no, 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 no. We mean right. like someone not a drag, that's not fair because you're a drag queen. I was like, okay, then you need to bring in Kamika. And they were like, no, 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 no. Oh my God. Not Kamika. Who else? <laughs> and I was like, Patty? <laughs> 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 no, and then I said, oh, then I said, well, Alfredo or Patty, and they chose, um, and they chose Patty. But, Alfredo? Yeah, well, I, I also was thinking that Alfredo, <laughs> well, I was also saying because Alfredo is closer to your size than Patty is, it'd be like Candy Muse and Mick. Oh, that's smart, that's smart. It'd be like Candy Muse and got Mick, girl. Oh, they, they, they also asked Jay DeFeo to come in for me, too. It worked. So I was like, honestly, you need to send me or Kamika. Yeah. Monet will gag if me or Kamika walk to their fucking front door, Monet will fall over yeah. Oh, yeah i'm an la girl i yeah. knew a while ago and you told me because you were surprising bob yeah i couldn't tell you yeah couldn't yes. tell anybody no. yeah yeah yeah. I, I i told you and naomi mm -hmm. and um and I, we eventually so bob when i when i moved there bob like cried like fully was he surprised cried. he was surprised he cried yes he cried Why? like he a, said do you want to be my boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh number four yeah <laughs> he said i need another boyfriend <laughs> right he is a bit a big love over there yeah <laughs> Bob is, love. Bob is so enamored by the masses, he cannot keep the men away from him. Yeah. Man. They all love Bob. Yes, yes, they're surprising him. He, he, Jacob lied and said, like, do you want to come visit my cousin who lives in L.A.? And Bob was like, we've been here for eight months. We're just going to visit her now. But Jake was like, yeah. So then he gets to my house. Of course, I ordered a fucking, I ordered Uber Eats. But Uber in L.A. is fucked up. Yeah. My Uber yeah. was supposed to get there with my food at like 3.20. And it moved to 3.40. Yeah. Then it was 3.55. Yeah. And then it ended up being 4 or 5, which was Jacob's ETA as well. So then Jacob and the Uber and Bob led all in at the same time. So I opened my townhouse door. And then, and then Jacob and Bob are standing there. And the Uber Eats man is like... I see, can I just Bob's crying. <laughs> no, Bob, not, Bob doesn't see me yet. Oh. So then I open the door and then I, I like my hand goes out to get <laughs> food. And Bob was like, Monet? And I was like, hey, girl. And then so, but he's still not putting it together. Mind mm -hmm. you, my entire house is set up. Like, that's not like I got, I moved all my shit here. My entire home is set up. My picture is my everything. Both things. <laughs> Everything set up. Both of it. <laughs> Both of it. Both of it. So he comes up my stairs and like all, and I have like huge artwork. Like I have like artwork that's like 60 by 90, mm -hmm. like really big piece all over my head. Bang. And then Val comes in, he's like, I was like, do you notice? And I'm filming him. I was like, do you notice anything? Does anything look weird? He's like, no. He's like, what are you doing here? I was like, Bob, nothing in here looks weird to you. Nothing in this place looks weird. He's like, no, uh, nice pictures. I was like, Bob, I live here now. He's like, <laughs> This is crazy. And then he starts crying. It's like the whole thing. We did it, Joe. We, we did, did it, Joe. It was very, it was very That's sweet. That's so he cute. Loves you. I love him. I love you guys on Sibling. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's, it's a lot. It's so good. And I've talked about this before, but like, you obviously love each other, but you both want to be right. And, but, <laughs> but you wants, know this. But Bob wants to be right more. Yes. And, yeah, you and know, Monet you'll, knows you'll, you'll it. Like, whatever. I'll just whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monet yeah. knows it. <laughs> so Monet will fight him just, <laughs> just to like, to are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> and like, Bob will stop the podcast to oh, Google something it's to crazy. make sure he's right. Yeah. And Monet's like, mm, what's Bo the source? <laughs> <laughs> Bob loves being right. He loves, he oh, no loves being right. He loves, to, he's so com he's the most competitive person so I know. He also is really smart and like, he is right a lot. So whatever. Yeah, it depends on the room. Right. right. It depends on the room. I'm sorry, there's cameras. Bob, so we, get <laughs> Bob, we, we did that trivia thing the other day. I was like, he was like, just to let you know, I'm very competitive. I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm also really smart, so whatever. Like, I'm really smart. Yeah. Know, maybe within a week, we were like laying to sleep, and I said, "Hey, I'm just gonna say I love you. I love you." Like before I go to sleep, and let's just start saying it now. And um, I don't know if it's true yet or how we feel. It's pretty early in our relationship, but we'll just start saying "I love you" now and not make a big deal out of when we finally say it. We'll just say "I love you." Bob, you're so cute. You bought my little stinky baby. You're so cute. <laughs> Why I is that so that? cute? <laughs> because again, y'all, y'all know me. I, I get Bob's little isms, his little quirks. They really tickle me, and that that is such a Bob thing. Like, hey, I don't know if I really mean it. I was gonna say I love you tonight, and eventually it worked. That is very Bob. That is so Bob. 
And it did work. And then and, and now I really do love Jacob. And, and I don't I don't remember the day where I said it and, and meant it, but I remember being like but I but I do know that now I love Jacob very, very much and he's an integral part of my life and I'm very grateful to have him in my life. Do you remember um, when you told me that he, you love me? Um yeah, I don't know. I mean it I don't was, know, but I say but I say it a lot though. It was November thirteenth, nineteen. You're so full of shit. I mean, sorry. Two, no, I'm serious. 2016 is when it's the first thing you told me that you loved me. What, what, what were the circumstances? I was going out to do a gig, and you told me you loved me. Are you? I can't tell if you're being serious or not. I'm being serious. Where were we? You were at your old apartment, and you were leaving my place to go to a gig. What? Why would you be at my place before a gig? Bob, so many times I I I would get ready at your house with you in your little crunchy little apartment. Yes, we don't need to start attacking my my home. I don't know why that <laughs> needs to start coming into play. I didn't say anything about your little your little shitty apartment in the Bronx with your little with your little glass chess piece from Walgreens in the corner. <laughs> when they used to have a chess board <laughs> in the corner of our apartment that she couldn't play. By the way, when they can't play chess either. By the way, when it was hor- I played her one time. I'm, by the way, I'm not good at chess. I crushed Monet. I was like, oh my God, you're bad at this game. Um, and she just kept it properly. It was like one of those really cheap glass ones you see at Walgreens. Cheap? Excuse me. It was cheap. It was cheap, and you know it was cheap. Monet, you know that thing was, you know that thing was cheap. Obviously, my one of my favorite, my fa- not one of my favorite, my favorite host of the Pissed Off has been you. I just think you have a very great, God, I want to throw up. I hate saying Oh my God, that. you're so ridiculous. You it's going to be very nice great to me, way bitch. Of- of hosting the pit stop and you're so funny and Bob does it. Bob sees things like the the most random tiniest thing. Bob was like, "Did you notice that when she walked in the room, how she beveled her foot to the left and she and she poked her the other girl with her elbow?" I hate when girls do. I'm like, "How did you even see that? You see just um, everything." I mean, it seems like you have a personal vendetta against Georgia. No, I have one against you, bitch. <laughs> I want to physically fight you, you on the stage tonight. Don't do it to yourself. <laughs> I, t- it seems like... It would be bullying. mean. Yeah, and, yeah. She'd be when, shady. Perfect. Maybe. And All when? Right. We have question over here. Of course. Here. You know, my drag mother is Honey Davenport. Really? It is. I didn't know that. Yeah, Honey Davenport is my drag mother. Why did I not I know mean, that? She's like, she's like the mother who like gave birth to me and like literally dropped me off at the fire station. Oh, and Roxy. Bob happened to be walking around. I don't know. Off and he was like, "Oh, I'll take this one home. It looks cute." <laughs> so Bob was like, "My drag mother, oh, really?" But Honey Davenport, I I came from her. Touch my lips, but you still remember this. Only in your memory, some sweet fantasy. Think you won me over? Come pay a price. Won't you dead the rest? I'm coming alive. Spots are fly, I light, I light, I light up your life. She is the mother I never had. She is the sister everybody would want. She is the friend that everybody deserves. I don't know a better person. I don't know a better person. Speaking of queer elders, uh, happy belated birthday to Macaroni Exchange, who has oh. just turned the decadent age of thirty. Actually, the bore I think it's a boring age. Uh, thirty-two is not a fun age. There's nothing exciting about thirty-two. What's exciting about thirty-one or thirty-three? Nothing and nothing and thirty-four. So, also nothing. By the way, I'm telling you what's 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 ahead of you. 
as you know, as we have often said on this podcast, I'm not a big birthday person. Like, I'm not like, oh, it's my 32nd. I want to do this. Oh, 33 is my Jesus year. I, I, I really don't. I can really kill us about birthdays. But I will say, Bob made my birthday very special. Bob and Patty made my birthday very special. was very sweet. And I'm very grateful for everything you did for my birthday. It made me very emotional. I was like, I was almost going to cry, but I fought back the urge to cry. I realized that we did not take any pictures that day. You and I did it? Not one. There was there yeah, yeah, they did. Sean, Sean, uh, uh, Rocco's, Rocco's, uh, Rocco's yeah, took the Roscoe's. Hide, most hideous picture of us. Picture, pizza. Um, there was there was <laughs> one hey, macaroni, X cheese, Monet sex change. Uh, what are all the names? Uh, all the other names we came up with for you? Monet gender affirming surgery. Monet affirming surgery. <laughs> Why that even make sense? Monet sex change. Anyway. Uh, oh, God, I got it. How are you, um, Rob? I'm in a great mood. Welcome back. I Monet went to her her uh, her birthday her aphorementioned birthday celebration. Oh my um, God. And it sounded like you had a lot of fun. I had a great time. What if what if one day you and I get to co-host the Oscars? What if one day? I think we close the Grammys. You and me. We sure could. That'll be so fun. Because. I feel like it would that would make the most sense for it. Amy- I'm very happy that we're doing our podcast together. Me and, too. And um oh wait, we didn't change clothes today. Not outfit repeaters. This was this was days after our last episode. Yeah, we, just we just haven't showered. Yeah. We just been wearing the same clothes. Like a real funky. In the same spot for days. Same freckle. Right. Talking about the Oscars again. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's still a hot that is why. All right, we gotta go. Today's guest, what can I say? Not the deep breath. Can I get my line out? Oh, why are you deep breath? Can I get my line out? Can I get a line out? Get your line out. <clears throat> she is the mother <laughs> I never had the sister. Anyone would. I do not know. <laughs> I don't know a better person. Y'all, it's my big sister, the Drag Queen. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for having me. I love what you've done with the place. It's so funny how you and I, even though we, we don't review Drag Race together, we have so many similar opinions. Who's David? Who's David? Oh, is that who's, who's that who that is? That's David? And God. Uh, isn't it Aphrodite? It's David. It's Adam and God. <laughs> who the hell is David? Pit stop. Did, did you enjoy being on the pit? Did you enjoy that I that I allowed you to be my guest on the pit stop? Honestly, it was really. I had to. Uh, it was a very busy day for me, and I had to cancel a lot of stuff to be there. I think I probably lost. I think between three and four million dollars just being just turning down other work just to be there that day. So did I enjoy it? Uh, it felt like nice charity. Mm, mm. Bitch, please. You fucking welcome. I miss you. I haven't seen you in a very long time. You just called time. me a bitch? Yeah. Me no, no, no. No, I, I, mean, no, I called God. you a fucking bitch. That's what I said. That's, that's not what you said, but... I miss you very much, Bob. Be clicking. I miss you as well. Um, I... Oh! So I realized... She that got, I, was, I just realized, hold on. <laughs> the wear hair checks must be clearing, honey. She's wearing her Apple headphones, honey. The wear hair is clearing, honey. She's wearing her, her, her Apple headphones, honey. Hold, open the door for Patty. Really? Every time we have a guest, it is rambunctious. Bob and I normally end up fisticuffs, blood, just fighting. And the guest is always like... <laughs> So this has been great. You have you're very, you're very like, assertive. It's I feel nice like I brought assertive. you guys closer together. If you guys could you get any Chelsea. closer. Oh, look how sweet that is. One person. Let me take a picture. Do that again, you guys. Oh, look at this. Love is in the air. <laughs> Bob tried to sabotage my my time on All Winners by sneaking text messages from designers, not getting things to me that I needed in time. But you know what? No, I'm kidding. Bob did, has done nothing but help me for All Winners season. He came over, he gave me a little pep talk. Right as they were coming over to whisk me away, Bob was at my home um, speaking gallons of wisdom into me before I left because my sister knows what her friend needs. And um, because of him, I felt good going into All Winners. I still have the sweater that um, Bob the Drag Queen lovely and graciously got made for my birthday. And maybe if you guys watch um, enough All Winners, you might see it on TV. Um, 
people really liked the the episode about sobriety, Bob. You were you were so vulnerable. I love I love when you get so vulnerable on the podcast. It makes me very not happy, but I just you know I, I love seeing you just bearing your heart and your soul. And it makes me feel so warm and gushy inside. I love you so much. Well, thank you. I didn't realize that people were so were so affected by that ep- by that episode. I did see a lot of comments of people who were talking about their um, journeys with sobriety. Um, and alcohol and drug use. You and people hanging out on little friend dates until you find out what worked. That's what that's literally what me and Monet did. We went out on friend dates. We did stuff for each other. We hung out. We went to we watched shows together. We went to drag shows together. We hung out at each other's houses. Um until and then we and I did that with a lot of people until I ran into Monet and our friendship just happened to work out really well because of our I know we, we just happened to be very compatible. And, and I also don't think that me and Monet were not out the gate being like, we're best friends. We just were like, oh, we're, and actually a big part of me and Monet's friend, <laughs> we talked about it before, was like my friend who was my best friend at the time um, had like some jealous feelings about Monet because Monet and I were hanging out a lot. And I remember Monet was like, I remember Monet was like, if that bitch don't. <laughs> Oh my god! I mean, because I mean, I'm I'm very lovable. A lot of people envy me, and like how I'm able to like be friends with like a lot of people. So it's understandable, but but um, yeah, we we didn't we didn't we weren't like super committed. Then after a while, we were just like, oh wow, we're really really good friends. Oh wow, we 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 are hanging out all the time. Oh my god, we are when you when you're at the club with all the queens, and you realize you keep leaving with the same one. You know, especially when Monet was living in Brooklyn and I was living uptown. Monet would give me a ride all the way uptown and then drive back. We were in Midtown. Monet would drive up to uh, Washington Heights, and uh, not Washington Heights, Upper West Side, and then get back on the West Side Highway, drive back down to Brooklyn. And we started being like, wow, we're really going out of our way to hang out with each other. You know, one of us more well, than mostly- the other. <laughs> I am not officiating. I was Justin's best man the first time he got married. And I am um, just some, some nigga at the wedding this time. If you get married, is Justin going to be your best man? Or is it gonna be me? Probably you. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry! Oh god, we have to go. This is wild. The Smirnoff that kicked in. The Smirnoff kicked in. Oh man, I would love that. I would be so emotional. <laughs> okay, you have to choose a best, um, a maid of honor. Is it? Oh, I'm your maid of honor. No, for your wedding. Is your maid of honor Bob? Or Kamika. <laughs> what up, do? Answer the question, nigga. Answer the question. I think I would, I would think Bobby would be made of honor. Kamika would be, would be my best man. That would be so cute. Kamika, little Kamika in like, in like, in like a fierce in tuxedo. Suit. Oh, I would love. Oh, look, it would be so cute. Honestly, if Kamika was like a Bush Dyke, like a, like a, she would, like a stud, she would pull. Look, Kamika. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Work. Oh, that's so cute! I'm so excited. We're not, we're not I know. I'm just thinking about it. It's very cute. Oh my! Okay, who's gonna be who's gonna be your best man? Maid of honor. Um, you nigga, you know your ass. Probably like maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Pepper my maid of honor. Maybe Nick is the best man. I could okay. probably. If not, if Nick can't do it, then I probably have. Maybe Ezra, but if Ezra can't do it mm-hmm. and Nick is also busy, I could see what my brother's up to. Mm-hmm. But if all three of them are busy, mm-hmm. then I would ask you. Work. I love you, though. You know, I would just like to say that Mateo was not in there at all and he's going to be oh, furious. Oh, girl. Mateo. Listen, if y'all know it's tag Mateo in this sound clip right now, tag Mateo later. Then- I honestly, I really wish it did. I think it's a major missed opportunity at that point. They should have put me and Bob together on the same season. That would have been messy. But here's my theory. If it was Bob and I together, it would have become um, RuPaul's ex-sibling rivalry. And uh, Okay, no one- but I have a question for uh, Monet. Would you have, if you won the challenge, would you share your star with a friend? Oh, here she goes. Alyssa always has- Good this evening, is- ladies, gentlemen. Here she goes. And Roscoe's. Here she goes. In on stage question and answer, contestant number two vying for the title of legendary stars winners. <laughs> if you had the opportunity to share a star, would you, if y'all were tied, you had two, she had two, Bob. and it was the Bob, and it was the final, and you won two, but they said you could share one. 
Would you have shared it with her or with the girl that had less stars? Good evening, distinguished panel of judges and Roscoe's. Good evening. <laughs> and Roscoe's. I would absolutely not give it to Bob because Bob can get his stars on his own and I want to put him as far back as possible so I can beat him. And that's what I would do. Because p- poverty would do so if she was doing it, okay? <laughs> Uh, I'm not giving it to Bob. Bob would be have no problem getting his own stars, bitch. I'm trying to keep her behind, all right? Because but, I would but just girl, to... you voted for Trinity because y'all have a background, so why wouldn't you vote for Bob, your sister? <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Monet, she got you, but Monet would want to hold that over Bobby, like, bitch, I won. You didn't get the star. I got right, it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, oh, I, 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 I would want all the right. Congratulations, Bob the Drag Queen. I'm very proud of you. I was very happy. I remember watching the pieces. I was very happy when you won. Um, and you're my little, my little baby. Bob, here again. Mm. Yeah, I smell her. I smell the stench of the winner. You cut these shorts. They're no. shorter. No, they used to be longer. Look at how they are. Oh, no, no. Longer. The pockets. You you, they out. made them so the pockets would hang out. Yes, it's, it's a vibe, girl. Well, they, you cut these shorts. Oh, they used to be longer. <laughs> I don't think they did. This is the short. No, you can tell when you cut them. Yeah, they're they're uneven. Why you cut these shorts? Wait, did you? Yes. Seeing Bob on Drag Race was great. Before Drag Race, we did a lot together. We hung out literally every day, go to gig together. I learned a lot of my drag from Bob, and to see Bob on the show, it was really, really, really beautiful. And seeing how he dominated, I mean, the first person to do two characters in a Snatch Game. There's nothing that Bob has done that I'm like, I'm jealous of, I wish I had, because I, I genuinely feel so much love. And when he gets something, I'm as excited about it as he is. And even when he got on Drag Race, like, we stayed up at his apartment helping him sew outfits, and it was like seeing myself go on the show, so there was no jealousy, it was just love. Her hair was done by Thorgy. <laughs> Her jacket is made by me. You did not make the jacket. I gave her that I jacket. I took it from your closet and it's mine now. Oh my God, Monet came into my section. Belinda trying to shop. <laughs> Bob, I love you so much. I love you too, Monet. I really do, I love her. Come on then, lick, lick, lick your teeth. Mm. My hair, bitch. Yeah. That damn rat's mess. How dare you. Monet is one of the most talented people I know. So it's, and her town is actually really diverse. Uh, I, I would say her strong points are her sense of humor and her ability to perform. I mean, Monet is like a, a classically trained performer. And Monet's really friendly. So if there is like some sort of a social aspect to it, people, no one hates Monet. Mom gave me great advice. He said, Monet, just go on Drag Race and be Monet. That's why everyone in New York City loves you. That's why you have such an infectious personality. That's why everyone really likes you. Just go and be Monet. Don't try to be anyone else. And I really took that advice. Well, I think that's why I was Miss Congeniality on season 10. Who knows if this moment would have happened? Who knows if drag queens would be at the Emmys, at the Oscars? Who knows how big drag So we're currently on tour. That's why we're here together, my big sister. That's why we're both on hotel Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually uploading pretty fast. So yeah, that's good. Don't cry, Miss B. Don't cry, Miss B. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Auntie. Bye, Bye. 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 Oh, that was so cute. So I want to just... Everything tastes good. You're great. Very funny. Very talented. Very pretty. Very tall. Very (laughs) handsome. Very, very bald. Great teeth. (laughs) Nice eyebrows. Nice little nose piercing. Nice. Your clothing line is nice. Jacob knew that was coming. Yeah, do you want to give me any fucking compliments, bitch? (laughs) So this I want to focus... Give me a compliment. I love your jacket. You're horrible. <laughs> you cannot give me compliments because you want to get a compliment back. I mean, that's, that's not why I gave you compliments. I gave you compliments because I wanted to, and now I'm asking okay, you Okay, so can I give you a compliment when I want to? Actually, don't give me a compliment <laughs> ever again. Don't ever mention anything about me and my work as long as you live. Um, Bob, she- I miss you. Before we start, I want to celebrate you for a second. My little daisy, my little dipsy doodle. I was so proud of you. I've seen so many f- little tags from your Troubadour show. You were number one on the iTunes charts overall for uh, uh, rap. You were number yeah, five, five on iTunes yeah. overall. So I peaked, I'm so proud I of peaked. you. That's, so it is crazy. I, no, I, you I, peaked in high school, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I peaked at number five on the, uh, for, uh, for albums out of all albums, which is really wild. 
And then I peaked at I peaked at one, which is as high as you can peak, honey. Now, granted, it was for like three hours, but that's not that's not the point. It's called what? Gay bars. <laughs> it's a double entendre. Gay bars. But why do the bars have to be gay? Why can they? Why can they? You know? Why gay bars? Because we gay, nigga. <laughs> We be gay. <laughs> Y'all niggas is gay. Uh, I would have come to see your comedy show. You don't ever invite me or tell me anything. I would have come. Well, you know, you, you just saw you just saw me do comedy in in New York City, like literally. Yeah, and it was tired. I'm kidding. It's actually great. It's so great. I love you so much. <laughs> see I love you how nice I am. Too. I'm so nice. That's you. That's you. Be you then. I'm so nice. <laughs> Your mother is literally the reason you're alive, but you don't feel like you need to respect her just because she's your mother, right? No, 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 no. But, but I, so I guess I was talking from my experience, right, with my grandparents. But my mom, I've been open about that conversation. But so that's, that's so that's what's not. So I think that so I think that for you, it it, it Jesus Christ, June, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> you should have never fucked my best friend. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Bobiana, yes, dear. I'm willing to savor these moments with you. My little baby's going to be gone for so long, and I'm going to miss you so much. And I'm happy you're not being a total bitch and a cunt, and we can have these lovely, sweet moments together. I love you so much. I really do. I feel strongly about you, too, Mona. Okay. Um, and I'm glad that you feel like you can um, share those feelings with me. <laughs> <laughs> So if you do this, use liquid latex. Yeah, liquid latex is the way to go. Or latex lash glue. Yeah, latex glue. Well, we're using other one because it applied easier. Yeah. <laughs> it applied easily, all right. Because it's the bitch we're not coming off. <laughs> oh, I was, I was annoyed uh, when we, like this morning, I am I, I'm, you, talking to you and put me in such a great, when I'm in such high spirits right now. Thank you so much for, for bringing me out of the, the not these. My little slump. I'm a great person, Bob. I agree. You're wonderful. That's why I'm so proud that you're my bestie. Um, and I'm so grateful for that tweet that you said about me. That was so nice of you to you to um to to. It really made me feel good. I was very unexpected, yeah. and I opened my Twitter and I saw that it really it meant a lot to me. I understand. That's why I. It also meant a lot to me for you to lend me the handle Monet Exchange to do it. That meant a lot to me. I was really grateful for what you said and and how you um even even to see you interact with Julieta on Twitter was really cool. <laughs> Someone made a Julieta Twitter. I said we should do it in the living room, like switch it up, because it's our last one together for a long time. Well, we're doing two tonight. So oh my god, when I stop, <laughs> I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Oh, my name is my little baby. <laughs> We're gonna miss you. Oh, I'm gonna miss you too, my little baby. Well, we're recording two in the living room, but um, this is our last. Uh, we're every for the two next in the living room, one in the boom boom room. But, um, I'm grateful you? for you. Do you want to tell me why? Um, I love that we have a this podcast together. I love that we are uh, real friends in real life. <laughs> What? Shots fired. That was not at anyone. <laughs> that was not at any one. Oh my god! <laughs> You're so problematic. You're problematic. Uh -huh. um, All um, right, we have to we have to go. As our last goodbye, we're going to answer this question in perfect unison. You going to just come to my house and just sit here and just eat in my face? <laughs> yes. That's great, Monet. That is wild. <laughs> You're insane. What, what would your mother say if she knew you was doing that? What would your mother say? <coughs> I would say, Monet, tell Bob to buy his own damn food. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I will, I love you very much. I love you too, Bob. Bob, okay, well, we'll talk about it next episode. What? I can't do that. <laughs> <I'm not> edging. <laughs> I was in New York and I didn't get to see you. I'm very sad. I know. We'll talk about it next episode. <laughs> hey, mom, I'm doing a podcast. Everything okay? Huh? I said I'm doing a podcast. Everything okay? Yeah. Can you call me later? Yes. It, I'm doing two podcasts back to back. But is everything is everything cool though? Yeah, everything cool.
cool. I don't want to talk to you. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Can you, can, you, um, can you hit me with a I love you when I call you sometimes? If you call me. me and J, as, as, as me and Jay DeFeo mentioned, you don't call anyone anymore. You you got your little uh, your little winner show friends, and y'all, you don't, apparently you don't need anyone. So you're good now, I guess. Anyway, but... You're so funny. I miss my little bobber. If you saw me getting cheated on, would you, would you tell me? Yes. Work. But if I saw you cheating, I wouldn't tell Andy. (laughs) (laughs) Bitch, I'd be like, bitch, this is not the MTA. Baby, I didn't see nothing. I'm not saying nothing. Would you ever get into a physical fight on my behalf? Yeah, for sure. Oh, my God. I'll you, too. I would. Like if you were fighting, not not like let's go hit him, but if I but if I saw that you were getting into a fight, especially if it was two on one or someone like bigger than you and stronger than you, I'd be like, it's time to tag team. Yes, I do. Wow, Bob is y'all these days. Bob is ride or die. Bob didn't need to be ride or die. I'm not ride or die. I feel like ride or die is like let's go get him. If you're like let's go get him, I'd be like let's not. <laughs> Let's let's take out our aggression plan around a Smash Brothers or something. But I would not like go and start aggression. No, no. Oh my God! It's your it's your birthday month. Are you? Are you know what? I can I tell you how I knew that Bob was one of like one of my soulmates and someone that I could be friends with and love forever is that you're not a birthday person. People who are birthday people fucking get on my nerves. It's like it's my birthday month. Maybe it's my birthday week. That shit is so irritating to me. It's too fucking much. You know, I, I like to have a low key birthday. I'll, I'll either do nothing or just have a, or have a dinner, like a small yes. dinner too. I love and that. A lot of you don't know this, but um, Monet and Jacob have the same birthday. So, mm-hmm. and Jacob's also not a crazy birthday person. So I really lucked out because it could if if I had two birthday people who who are literally like the two closest <laughs> people to me who are both, it would drive me crazy. It's too much. But um, I don't think I've spent either of your birthdays with you for the past couple. Of I mean, I think Jacob, you in 2021. With, Jacob, what's the last time I was with you for your birth? Wait, were you guys on 2021? Happy birthday to you. And many more. Let's do the Stevie Wonder version. Happy birthday. I don't know what's going on. Oh, now she's going to be an angel. Go back to your demonic ways. Um, should I prop my No, it looks good. This is not the end all. You want to look for one thing. I am tired. Woo! I am tired. I am tired. You're tired? I am, but you know what energizes me? Talking to my little baby. Oh, my God. little ba- my little whore babe. It looks like I am in some sick, <laughs> sad, lonely hotel. And I mean, in, 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 what do you think about it? Aren't all hotels lonely? I'm not used to seeing uh, uh, sk- sk- like the, the bully, the scary person being portrayed in the way that Snoop Dogg was. But I guess it's also clear that he was bullying a child. And um, what? Just, what? It's so just, funny. Just you, like your house dress. And this like curtain behind you and this micro. I don't know, just this whole you just <laughs> you just such a funny person. Like like I don't know, just the the, the the all the elements together of you in this house dress, holding this microphone, holding yourself like this, rocking your chair, moving back and forth. It's just so it's just very comical to me. I don't know why. <laughs> You're so funny. I missed you. I haven't seen you in so long. When you when when you when we see each other, can you hold me like a baby? This time I'll let you hold me like a baby. Pardon me if I don't join in the frivolity of you laughing at my mere existence. 
So I'm sure, excuse me like if you. I don't think that, that me just existing in my space is somehow hilarious to you. Well, if you're a comedian, you don't like being portrayed as funny? Don't try, don't try to gaslight me. You're trying to spin as if I tried <laughs> oh to become funny. I'm literally just sitting in my hotel room <laughs> talking to you about baby boy. I was not doing anything funny in the moment. I cannot get my lighting right in this hotel room. This hotel, I cannot get my lighting right. I'm like, I just wish I could. I would, don't you wish you could just face out and be like, Rue, I really go with Rue. Can you just, Rue is a good pep talker. Rue gives good advice. I've never thought that specifically about Rue, but I mean, normally I just have an arc. I call, I call you. You give good advice. Thank you. You do as well. You do. You give great advice. You, Bob, anytime I, I have a question, Bob normally goes with, well, Monet, you know, when I, da, 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 there you go to the thing. It's always very good advice. I got, I got a caramel color uh, ball head friend that I call for advice. I don't need RuPaul. <laughs> the ball head coalition. Got one. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the caramel color ball head coalition. I got me one. <laughs> um, My sweet little bobber, I tried to call you a few times yesterday, and I am not coming at this in a combative way or any type of energy. I was just saying yesterday was your birthday. And I tried to get in contact with you, but it was your birthday. You're probably really busy. I know you're working, so I didn't get to tell you happy birthday on your birthday yesterday. Well, I called you three times, and I guess our schedules didn't align. You called me two times yesterday? Three times. Three times. When? I'll see the screen grabs, but I called you three times. I will literally post mine right here. You know, I, I always tell you this. If, whenever you don't get the call, it's either because you didn't have service, maybe your phone was in airplane mode, but whenever you don't get the missed call... It's because you didn't have any service. I'm not saying you ignored my call, but I am saying I did call you three times yesterday. I love you very much. Um, and uh, I was talking to Jacob, not you. Don't get excited. Um, I'm indifferent to you. Full disclosure. You are, so, y'all, this is what, it, all of y'all out there who want an extra friend, don't get one. Okay, because I want to, because I want to return mine. <laughs> anyway, I love you. Now I'm talking to you, Monet. I love you very much. Now I'm talking to you. I love you too, Roberta. And I'll have fun at the Renaissance. I can't wait to hear about it. Yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been there for practically your entire drag journey. The whole thing, nigga. Same for you. No, besides, negative. Besides, besides the two little years before I came around, I've literally been around since then. So what? I, I've been there since you stumbled into the Ritz with feathers on your shoes. <laughs> I've been there since you were buying cosplay wigs and teasing them <laughs> with the bangs still straight. <laughs> Honey. First of all, I would do a little swoop at the end, so that's so you already wrong. Honey, I, I was there when you was wearing rainbow. <laughs> I was there when your tuck popped at uh at at that at that one place. Stop. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> that was so the these so these little fans who know you with like a little a uh, bust down. They don't know. They don't know Monet. A bust down. They don't know Monet. I know Monet. A bust down. Um, yeah. Monet, I love you very much. I love you so much, Caldwell, my little BB, my, my little celebration oh, well. BB. Jesus Christ, Kevin, that was crazy. <laughs> are we going to be the, Kevin Caldwell now? Is that is that yes. Okay? are we? Yes. I don't. I don't. I don't want to be Caldwell. I want to. I want to be Bob. Don't. I'll call you Kevin. If you really want to call you Kevin, I'll call you Kevin. Jacob calls you Caldwell. I can't call you Caldwell. Monique, can you... I'm your, I'm your, I'm your platonic life partner. How dare can you? You're not make me beg for the the name no, I want Monet, to be called. He wants you to call him Chris. Oh, he, he hates that. Definitely not that. <laughs> no, we, we do the most, but it's just it's because <laughs> we love each other. Aww. We have to tolerate each other for work. You know what <laughs> so I mean? Much. Work. Yeah, just work. None of this friendship like a political campaign handshake. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, how do you learn TikTok like this? I took one of my corners.